All right. So one of the two, well, one, one of the things, two of the things. One of the things we got in 8.3 were the allied races. Now the Horde got the Vulpira, which are clearly the superior of the two, and the uh, Alliance got uh, the Mechanomes. Anything gnome related can suck it. All right, we're going to uh, level a Vulpira. They look pretty cool. Check them out. And I thought it would be funny to have a Vulpira warrior. I just think it looks kind of awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and build them out. Uh, get you a look at the faces and stuff. So face, skin color, orange, and... Kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. Alright, faces. I like that one. Ears. I think as a warrior I would want short ears so people wouldn't be able to grab them. And Let's go with a short one with two earrings. We'll go with that. Patterns, so I get skin patterns. I like that one. Kind of looks like a gray uh, tabby. And you can pick your nose. I don't know why I like the big nose. What are we going to name him? Uh, let's look up how to pronounce fox in various other languages. A lot of these are uh, Zorro. I didn't know that Zorro was fo Spanish for fox. That's crazy. Uh, how about Japanese fox kitsune? Kitsune, I guarantee you, is not uh, available. All right, uh, I want this in some form. Kitsune. Not available. Not available. Yes. I can I like that. Alright, let's enter the world. Now I'm going to make this guy a skinner. I don't know that I'm gonna make him a leather worker, but I'm going to make him a skinner. Okay, let's watch the cutscene. We Volpera have always been resourceful. Oh, no matter sorry. the adversity, we do what it takes to survive and keep our family strong. <laughs> Alpaca. Lord helped us when we needed it. And now it's time to return the favor. A fair trade, if you ask me. A whole world of adventure is awaiting you out there. Explore it and become a hero. For the Volpera and for the Horde. Alright, so we start off in the Valley of Honor. Now, really quickly, did that bear take a poop? Did that bear poop? First of all, I want to get rid of my voodoo uh, frames. Da, 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 panels. Uh. Uh, oh, there we go. So, really quickly. Alright, panel is gone. So, as with all the other allied races, you start at level 20, which means you have, you can go ahead and choose uh, which um, class you want to be. And I don't know what class...
All right, we're looking at PVE stuff. Best warrior class. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. None of that's in English. Hold on. I don't want to be a prop warrior. Best DPS warrior class. Oh my god. Warriors are so far down. And there's basically no difference between Arms and Fury. Fury. Alright, well, look, we're just going to pick Fury. Fury appears to be what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and... Uh, we will go ahead and pick Fury Warrior. So, Specialization and Talents. So when I activate this, I get what? Boom. Unspent talent points. Okay, so we're going to definitely be playing war mode. Let's just start that right off the bat. Uh, adaptation. Replaces honorable medallion. Relentless. Replaces honorable medallion. Duration of incoming crowd control effects. Reduced by 20. Moves any loss of control effect. Moves all movement impairing loss of control. Two minutes. One minute. Just go with the gladiator medallion. I don't know why. Uh, and let us see what should our talents be. Did we pick Fury? And looks like Icy Veins is recommending at 15 that we go with uh, Endless Rage offers the most rage generation and sustained single target. Well, let's go with that then. Can't see any reason otherwise to go with this. Okay, so here is one of the racials we get with uh, the Volpira. We get this bag of tricks. Pull your chosen trick from the bag, use it on a target. Enemies take 231, he allies are healed for 346. So we can heal ourselves. We can do a lot of damage. I've seen this one-shot things. Caravan Hyena, so we get a mount. Uh, I am going to bring up a couple of things. We can also transmog. I'm not going to waste my time or money doing that. I want my... Traveler Tundra Mammoth so I can sell stuff when I'm out in the field. And what do I want to be running around on? As far as a mount goes, why do I want a tiger? Red shadow pan tiger? No, green shadow pan tiger. Boom. The alpaca looks scared. He should be. Alright, the next thing I want to do is... Uh, okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, the bag of tricks... Okay, Caravan Hyena, let's uh, adjust our action bars a little. I don't need the Caravan Hyena. Although you might want to see it. I'll show it to you really quickly. Well, that's not too bad.
and scratches. That's kind of cool looking. Got some earrings. Got a little, uh, got a little, uh, covering going on there. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go. There's your caravan hyena. All right, what do I get here? Heroic throw. Throws your weapon. I'm going to put that up here. I'll use that to pull things when I start chain pulling stuff. And what do I have? Gladiator's Medallion. Put that up here. Victory Rush. We will use Victory Rush after we kill stuff. And we'll charge. Is that all I got? Tell me that's not all I got. Alright, so we'll use Charge and Victory Rush after we kill things. All right, let's take a look quick. Uh, let's take a quick look at our abilities here. Let's see if there's anything we can put on the action bar. Bloodthirst. Okay. Instant with a 4.3 second cooldown. So that's a taunt. Uh, we'll put taunt up here next to heroic throw. Your rush charge execute yeah we'll want that enrage it's a passive effect bloodthirst has a 30 percent chance to enrage you rampage always enrages you heroic throw we've got titan's grip is passive allows you to dual wield a pair of two-handed weapons sweet raging blow requires two-handed melee weapon which we do not have but we'll put it on our toolbar Rampage enrages you and unleashes a series of four brutal strikes for a total of 109. Have it. Okay. So that costs quite a bit of rage. We're going to put that over here. We won't be using that too often. 7.6 second recharge. Victory rush is instant. But only after we kill for okay, 20 seconds after you kill an enemy. Uh, bloodthirst. That's got to cool down. So let's put Victory Rush here with that. That's where I'm going to lay all this out. So that's all I have right now. Let us go get our... Let's talk to this dude and find out where the uh, skinning trainer is. I suspect he's probably in the leather working area. So let's wander over there on our own here. Why do I think the leather workers are this way? So I know machine that's engineering, cloth, leather, skinning trainer. That's what I thought. Uh, we're just gonna learn skinning for now. I think I need a knife. What do you need? Uh, okay. Supplies on the skinning knife. So, a couple of things we got. Uh, got a much bigger bag to start with. So, that's good. Where's our hearth stone set? Valley of Honor. Uh, oh, that's what we need to get. We need to get our heirloom gear. I knew there was something going on. All right. So, I will tell you, I'm not a big collector of heirloom gear. I have a lot of pieces. I haven't upgraded a lot of it. Most of the time, by the time I get to 90, I, I want to kind of change it out anyway. So, But let's uh, let's go ahead and get our, our gear so we can get, uh, get set up here. Uh, back piece, shoulders, chest, leg. Is that a two-handed axe? Looks like a one-handed axe. Two-handed sword. I'm gonna grab that sword too. So I got a ring. 
trinket. Amulet. Insignia of the Horde. I don't think I want that. I might want Touch of the Void, though. That gives us a little extra damage there. Alright, thank you. Alright, so you'll quickly see the standard heirloom gear going up. Uh, this is only uh, 110 to, uh, 100 to 110, so we'll ditch that. Alright, uh, we'll look at the weapons in just a minute. Legs, chest, shoulders, cloak, helmet. That's kind of cool. I don't hate it. Now, weapons. Two-handed. Now, which one of these do I like better? I've got a one-handed here. And a one-hand here. Oh, that's a two-hander. Boom. Alright, there we go. I think we are set. So we can ditch that. So we have our... Oh, uh, this has a thing, so you can do damage with your Touch of the Void. Alright. Alright, uh, did we get any, uh, did we get any quests? Oh, there was one we didn't pick up yet. Alright, well, let's go pick up our quest that we did not pick up. I suspect they want us to go talk to Gromash. Oh, speaking of which, so, or Bane in Gromash, uh, hold. Speaking of which, so with the Vulpira, the way this we joined the Horde, basically in the there was a quest line we had to do. We First thing we did was we went to Bane and said, Hey, Bane, we want to join the Horde. And Bane says, Shove off, little man, you're not going to be any help, and... You know, we're, we got bigger fish to fry. So basically what the quest line was, was uh, us running around as a Vulpira, performing tasks that were nagging the horde that needed to get done and Bane had been pushing off. So we demonstrated our usefulness to the horde and then he's like, dude, okay, we get it. So you guys can join now. So... What did you bring me? I brought it up bring you. Uh, Got to go to the Orgrimmar Embassy to get our tabard. Okay, that's our first thing. So, a lot of running around and a lot of slow running around. So, we'll get a, give you a little quick tour of uh, Orgrimmar if you haven't been here in a while. Hopefully I'll get to kill something soon. There's a quest. Oh, is it, is it Orphans Week or something? Yeah, I don't have time for orphans. And before you say, but, but you can get a pet. I have a thousand and sixty-five pets. Most of which are level twenty-five, so... There was a time where I had no life, and all I did was pet battle. Alright, so we'll go get our tabard, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, etc, etc. Speak quickly. Find the War Chief's command board. So that, that'll give us our first... Uh, our first quest string. We'll probably do something different I haven't done in a while. I've done most of these a million times. Alright, done Stone Talon, done Ashen Vale. Ugh. Hillsbrad. It's tough. Uh, I 
think somebody sends me to the Northern Barrens. I'm going to take Ashenvale for now. But that's not what I want to do. I think I want to do Northern Barrens. I haven't done that in forever. So. What brings you here? There we go. Northern Barrens. I want that. Ancestors. And apparently, Itrig. What does Itrig got to say? Speak with Commander Bagren. Oh, okay. That's so we can run Ragefire Cavern. I have no interest in running Ragefire Cavern. So, all right. So I want to go there, which means I need to go. Wonder if uh, I wonder if I have any flight paths. I may end up having to run to Razor Hill. I will, if I get a run all the way down there, trust me, I will, uh, for your sake, I, I will uh, cut all that out so as not to waste our time. somewhere well, that's good I can fly to ratchet I can fly to the crossroads I can fly to Ashenvale do I really want do I want to start there I can run back for that I don't want to do Ashenvale I guess we're gonna do Ashenvale oh. I'm going to, if I run back and turn that in, I might have to run all the way back. So I'm not going to turn that in. For me, I don't think it's worth my time to do that. Uh, we're going to just run out to Ash. God, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, but you know what? If I get this, all I'm going to do is be killing... Okay, let's go on and go. Let's go do. Let's do Ashenvale. But see, I, that's not where I want to go. I don't want to go. There. All right, we'll go to Morshan. Sorry about all the confusion, but uh, I uh. Was clearly conflicted on where I wanted to start, and how I wanted to get there. So, no big whoop. So yeah, we're going to. Actually, actually, Morshan did. Ha that is where the uh, Ashenvale quest line starts, which probably means I've got to, to do all of the entry point level stuff, which is all good. Okay. I'm sorry. I know I'm babbling, but I'm I'm just going through mentally the list of quest uh, and event things that between there and at, and uh, going to uh, the uh, Splinter Tree. And thinking how many times I've done them, which I'm not sure I can actually count. I will cut all this out. So basically, I will spend a couple of minutes re-acquainting myself with my uh, rotation here. Alright, so this is the starting point. Ashenvale, Skirmishers, and Bowmen. Find Gorat. He's dead, by the way. Uh, ten arrows from... We're recovering ten arrows. And... 
five, cure five defenders. Okay. So basically charge. Boom. Not bad. So now I've got this, uh, this victory rush where I can boom. And now I can charge again. Yeah, not bad. Alright, these are the wounded defenders, so we're basically we're gonna work our way to, to Gorat. I know exactly where he is, he's over here. And we'll heal some folks on the way, and then we will kill some folks on the way. And then we'll do Gorat's little thing here. Died pretty quickly. You wish to speak? Most of the air I have kill this dude. I must get closer. Most of the arrows are on that side over there, so collecting the arrows on this side, not really worth it. We'll get the arrows on the way back. So I need one more wounded guy to heal. Alright, so that's gone. Okay, uh, we need to go over here, but we'll kill this dude. This little... His little charge. Yell is funny. Uh, I need uh, to kill four more bowmen. There's an arrow. Is that a bowman? No, skirmisher. Oh, we're going to have to kill him anyway. So these are what the arrows look like. They're just sticking up out of the ground like that. You need ten of those. Alright, here's Gorat. Alright, uh, we'll be... Alright, turning a vial of Gorat's blood. So we're going to work our way back now. I need to kill four bowmen and pick up nine more arrows and we can, uh... I'll do away with these that we're not going to do. Alright, so over here, all the arrows. Is that a bowman? Nope, skirmisher. There's a bowman. One of the things I've always loved about charge is you can charge up vertical locations. Right, there's two bowmen. All right, so I gotta find eight more of these, and there's there's a ton of them. They're all scattered around over here. Oh, skirmisher. Is that a bowman? Skirmisher. Looks like everybody's after the bowman right now. Well, I will finish picking these bad boys up here. Next time I fight somebody, I will uh, do my bag of, bag of what? Bag of tricks. Right, let's go ahead and do this. See, I almost killed him. Almost one shot at him. Three more arrows.
what happens when you try to mount before you actually have picked up your whatever your thing is you're picking up. So most of the, it's interesting, most of the arrows are here, most of the bowmen are over here on the hill. So we need three more of those dudes. Don't I get credit for that? I'm out of range. All right, got all that done. Turn this in. Used to be we'd have allies show up here and try to gank people. I guess they got bored with that or they're busy running their visions, doing their chores, as I call them. Kadrak wants you to bring the vial of Gorat's blood to Dina. Okay, so we have to go back to Gorat, and we have to use the blood on him. Basically raises his spirit, and he tells you where to go and avenge him to kill the guy who uh, killed him. Basically is sort of how it works out, so. All right, so my dudes want to run the vision. And uh, so I'll do this really quickly. And we'll use the imbued blood. And Captain Ellen Delad, Ellen Delad, apparently is already up, but you have to do the. Uh, Basically, you have to do the corpse walk here with uh, Gorat. I was hurry since my time is short. So he's doing the corpse walk. I'll do the corpse walk. And basically, we'll get over here, and this dude will jump over here from an island, and you have to kill him. Which, being in full heirloom gear, should not be a problem. So... First he slow walks, then he has to stop and monologue here a little bit. This guy is waiting on the good captain to uh, show up. I'm going to actually tag him when he shows up with a heroic throw, just to make see if I can get credit from his kill. All right, I feel sorry for him. And I got credit. Nice. I also got a banana. All right, we're going to run this over there. Turn it in. And after that, I got to run for a second because my peeps want to do the horrific visions. And we're going to go do that and make this... I'm, I'm like halfway done with that video and making this one simultaneously, so... Take your whirlwind elsewhere. 
So let's get this turned in. Let's jump over to my main real quick. You won't notice that I'm gone because I will be right back. Got a breastplate I can't use. Boom, leveled the. Oh, that actually upgraded. Look at that. Still can't use it, but it upgraded. Uh, it's actually a little bit better than the one I'm wearing, but by the next next time I level it won't be, so we're not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I'll be right back. For you, it'll just be a moment. For me, i got to go do this other thing, so I will be back in just a moment. All right. So I am on day two now of my leveling. I had to switch up to go do the uh, Horrific Visions video really quickly. So I am now going to continue leveling my Vulpira. This video should be tw uh, 20 to 30 is what I'm shooting for. So I'm still here at the Morshan Ramparts. I've still got my quests to do here on my way to... Um, splinter tree post so I'm just gonna start rocking these and just bust through them and get to splinter tree as quickly as possible so all right so ride Brutusk to the Warsong labor camp Brutusk is over here where do I have two dots I need to get Cadric's range there's Cadric I've got the reins, got a mountain brew tusk. That one always, because I, I never read that quest, I always forget that I have to go get the reins, and I'm like, why can't I get on the Kodo mount? Well, because I didn't have the reins, now I do. For some reason, there's something that... I believe is funny about one of these quests coming up here, and I'll point it out when I get to it, but it's something of a, of a sexual nature that I think is amusing. I don't recall that being there. All right. Got wood? That's it. So it's the quest, got wood. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna turn in the reins, gonna get some, gonna get some XP, I'm gonna get some gloves we don't need. Convince demoralized peons to work and collect five bundles of wood. Is there nothing else right here? No? Okay. So basically, what we do is we gotta go find these dudes who are sitting here and all scared. We need to. Oh, I forgot about the Invisa spiders that are around. Are you? Do you need me? So yeah, these invisible spiders. Uh, okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta tell him to go chop some wood. Basically, we have to say we'll protect them from the terrible night elves, and there'll be a. I don't look very tough, well. So there'll be either will or won't be a um, stealth night elf that'll show up, and we have to kill them. Damn, I need to walk all the way over there. So we have to protect them while they cut a little bit of wood. No big whoop. It's good they got the text in for the for the racial. I'm just hitting tab. Oh, okay. We had no night elf on that one. And in the meantime, you've got like these wolves hanging around and the, the invisible spiders hanging around. So okay, so I'm gonna back off so I can do a charge if if I find the trusting you. Don't let me die there. Alright, now I'm going to try to get to this wolf here before my 
Victory Rush one runs out. What is that? I don't know what that symbol meant. I was looking for a buff because typically that means you have some sort of buff to to one of your abilities. So for anybody who's normally a warrior knows what that means, throw it up in the chat. Alright. Excuse me. A little sleep. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright. Kind of it's the middle of the week. I'm getting worn down already. It's price you pay for getting old. Avoid it if you can. So this guy's doing pretty good with the uh, the killing and stuff. I don't know what that particular what can I do for you? buff was giving me. I'll figure it out. See if it's uh Oh goodness, I have a I have a razor called Make Camp. We need to figure out what that's all about. Oh, I am also a skinner. Boom. Alright, uh, I need to know, I need to look at these spells, because I did not look at all the racials. Racial, change the contents of your bag of tricks. Right now my bag of tricks is pull, pull your chosen trick from a bag. Damage and healing, okay. Oh, uh, that's a five-minute cooldown. I, maybe I have options later on for different things. I don't know. Uh, make camp. Return to camp. Return to your camp. One-hour cooldown. Apparently, I can... Is this telling me I can do a... Uh, like a hearthstone? I need to look that up. Alright, so, making camp does a couple of things. First of all, it does give you the ability to teleport there, so it's almost like a an inn, a hearthstone there. So that's, let's, uh, let's put that next to the return to camp. Return to camp. Uh, it, you do not get overnight rested like at an inn. Uh... You can insta log out. 
So basically this is something that you can put at a Quest Hub like where I am now. And when you have to go out runner now this is a one hour cooldown. Yeah. So this return to camp thing is mm, a little suspect. You could possibly collect five natural oil from the slimes. Is that the only quest I get now? Why am I only getting one quest at a time? I hate that. Well, I'm going to make the camp here. You can only return one time. I want to see what it looks like. Because apparently there's like a fire that you can cook from. So you can cook at this fire. Alright, let me bring up my professions. I didn't get cooking. That's a shame. You can talk to this backpack. Store the canopy. Well, that didn't appear to do anything. Unpack the canopy. Alright, well that didn't do. So I, I, I don't know what that was supposed to do. Alright, so, anyway, we have a camp. We can horse to that camp one time per hour. That's very, very interesting. Okay, nice racial there. Let's, I'm curious, let me see what else, if there's anything else earth shattering. So rummaging your bags, uh, rummage your bags, Let, let's look that up. Okay, so your bag of tricks, you will discover new elements. Uh, so right now it says there are three alternatives known. Uh, flames of Fury, which deals fire damage, which drops from Ragnaros in the Firelands. Sinister Shadows, deal shadow damage, drops from Cho'Gal and Bastion. Holy Relic, heal with Holy Magic unknown drop so we have to pick up those other drops now here's a list of all the Volpera racial tricks now we've got the bag of tricks rummage your bag make camp return to camp nose for trouble when you first take damage from an enemy reduce that damage by five percent of your maximum health whatever alpaca saddlebags increase the size of your backpack by eight slots we see that here And fire resistance reduces fire damage by 1%. So, those are our racial traits. Alright, so... Right now I have a quest to um, kill these slimes and get their oil. So let's go do that for a little bit. And uh, see if we can get on with leveling. Use my bag of tricks on him. There's one natural oil. Severed keepers are here. Okay. So what that did was it highlighted rampage. I think it gives you either a free or insta rampage. So that might be. Uh, oh, shit! Sharp talon got me. So, okay, that's what, that highlights my Rampage. Sharp Talon's Claw. Uh, there's the Fire Resistance. There's the Nose for Trouble. Fury. Rampage. Enrage you lost a series of four brutal strikes. Give me one second. Fuck, there's Sharp Talon again. Oh. Uh, talent, Endless Rage. Gain six rage whenever you enrage. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. So sometimes I get this highlighted. Uh. 
I don't uh, play warrior enough to have all the answers right this second. Okay, it makes it instant, or maybe it's supposed to be instant already, but maybe it makes the rage free. Let's take a look at it next time we get it. Well, it wasn't free. Rampage, it ain't free. It costs a hefty fucking fee. Alright, so I got me a, a charge and a victory rush in there, so those are always fun. Well. I'm going to be using that whenever I get it, so that's all there is to it. It's a nice little, nice little ability there. That's only a couple of seconds there, too. So basically, I can wander around out here, do my thing, get way out here. Uh, you know, got a rusty chest in a clockwork box. What's in the clockwork box? To be an engineer. Yeah, well. All right, so I could get way out here and use my one-hour cooldown, return to camp. That's happening. Uh, there's a little lag action popping up here. So let's use the return to camp. Damn, that's slow. What's that cast time? 10 second cast. Cart drops me off at the camp. That is cool. All right. I like it. Gorka wants you to accompany her to Morshawn Ramparts. Alright, so we're gonna get back on. I guess we have to tell her. I'm ready, let's go. So you have a cutscene here. It's fairly tragic. So now we're going to go with Cadrac to Splinter Tree, so finally getting over. Seems urgent, there must be another way. This is totally different. We used to ride Brutusk over, now, now we're being flown over. We were going to run with him. That has been changed. 
He used to ride Brutusk. He would jump around, do some lightning strikes. But hey, one of the great things about this zone is the flatness. If you look at all these things, you can look at them straight on and they look full. You get them on edge and they're flat. All the images are flat here. Those branches are have just a bunch of flat pieces. Flat pieces put together to simulate volume. So, Splinter Tree, huh? The only part about Splinter Tree I hate is running in and out of this mine. There's a whole series of quests that require you to run in and out of the mine. It is annoying. It's all get out. But we're going to do it. So this guy's down in the mine. What do you mean? Go forth. So we've got killing the outrunners. Now these are the guys that, if you remember when I was killing the slimes, that one guy popped up unstealthed on me. That's him. And then we have demons, killing the demons. Sorry about that. I made a habit of pounding the crap out of that microphone. Where am I? I'm here. So yeah, you gotta go all the way down here and then back around the corner. It's a pain in the ass. He also gives you a bunch of quests in here for picking up coal and a few things like that. The good news is at the end of this quest line you get to kill him, so... The tainted blood of the Kaldori. So that's over here. Usually I do these two together. This is your killing the outrunners. This you have to go down inside the burrow. It's pretty simple. Um, it, you follow the lights to, down to the heart. So yeah. Running that hallway is. It just annoys me. Oh, we got another quest up here. This guy. What does he want? So these two. Uh. Okay, so that's that's in the demon area. This guy wants you, I think. Okay. This stacks with the the the, den, the barrow, so we've got the outrunners, which are very relatively difficult to find because they're stealth. You got to kind of run around. These two stack and these two stack, so we'll do the outrunners and the barrow together. That's how I usually do it. So usually I'll just I'll run around in here a little bit and avoid the slimes and try to run across one of these dudes. So I need uh, nine of these guys. So you know, hopefully I'll usually get four or five before I go into the barrow and get four or five on the way out. That way I don't find myself stuck, kind of in a rut here, running around doing this. There's one. course they make the uh, they're easy, fairly easy to find because they make the uh, the rogue sound so, 
there's one around here somewhere there is Two more before we go into the barrel. So again, I was trying to time the uh, charge with still having a victory rush, which worked out well that time. Looks like I probably have that opportunity every other... I just heard another one. Probably, he's somewhere close. All right, let's work our way towards the barrow here. So the guys they want me to kill are these druid ghosts here. So we'll, we'll, we have plenty of them to kill here in just a minute. Yeah. Alright. There's four. Why is Elbrazor bringing me a slime? Too far away. We're killing all these dudes. You're welcome. So I want the druids. And I'm liable to be pulling up the slimes. They're too close, so I'll just kill them. It doesn't matter. What was that? Squishy chunk? I think I need 15 of these guys, so let's get about half of these done before we, uh... And I just leveled. Woohoo! Let's get about half of these done before we go into the barrow. Yeah, so it looks like, uh... I get every other victory rush. I'll have a charge. Sharp talent again. We're about halfway. Still like to use that victory rush while I've got it. All right. Oh. Well, we'll just keep killing stuff. I mean, we gotta kill them anyway, so. guy is a, uh, an alliance level 21 I could probably handle him but I'm gonna cause he'll, he'll ignore you if you ignore him so I mean if you're too close he won't but so in these bears usually you gotta find your way through this one has little red markers you can just follow the red markers So 
of the little fox battle cries. Right, so we're still following the red things. Alright, so I didn't have to kill quite so many. I forgot how many were down here. Okay, the red thing takes us this way. The red dots. Alright, so here's the heart here. Uh, right here. Corrupt it. Now it was corrupted. Now we follow the red dots out. And we go back and we find five more of the outrunners. Sorry. If that guy's, if that panther's out here, I may go ahead and kill him. Oh, it's so tempting. He has 2,000 hit points. I'm not going to do it. I don't know why, for some reason, I feel like that's a bad idea. I don't remember why. I know before, when I was playing on non-PVP servers... It would flag you PvP, and that was always pretty dangerous. Alright. Just heard one. Too bad I'm not an enchanter. stuff I may yet need it I don't need mana but if I get cooking the wolf flanks will be helpful all right uh, how many more four more so the reason I do half before because they're so hard to find I'll do half before I run in and hopefully the ones I killed before have respawned since. I just heard one. I just heard one. Oh shit, I'm right on him. I must get 
pretty much two shot him. All right, uh, I'm going to not go anywhere near Sharp Talon. I'm going to go kind of a big swoop. I only need shit. Kind of a big swoop. That seemed like an awfully big. Uh, aggro range for that guy. So we're going to swoop it around this way and head towards the demons. one. I always felt like there was always one hanging around here in this corner. Right there. Alright, that's all the Outriders. Those are a pain in the ass because you gotta avoid those slimes and find them. So, Alright, we're gonna go over here and we are going to siphon the Fellfires and kill demons and then we'll head back to Splinter Tree. So I'm going over here because, as I said, we got to siphon the fires, and there's quite a few on this side over here, so we're just going to... We're just going to do our thing over on this side until I find the fires. I don't see them. I know that, yeah, there's one there. Okay, diabolical plans. That's back in Splinter Tree. Okay, so Siphon Fell Fire. So I'm more interested in finding the Fellfire to siphon at the moment because these are spread out, a little hard to find, the demons are everywhere. I have to just kill 15 demons, I can kill 15 demons. But if we focus on the fire, there are oftentimes op opportunities for fire that we're going to have to kill the demons to get to it, so it is all good. So we're going to kill this one. That little battle cry is fucking hysterical. Two more of those, and then I can just go on a rampage here, killing stuff. Ten demons to kill. Bag of tricks is pretty potent.
Alright, uh, yep, fell fire here. Oh, I got all the fell fire. I can just kill demons now. Many more, take more. Feels like you probably kill more than one at a time. But, uh,. But at present, there's only one at a time available. If I can find a couple in the same area. Gnarl. Ancient of War. Cool. Let's uh, taunt that one, and we'll charge that one. Nice. Basically took no damage, killed two. I am of a ca usually of a caster class when I play, so the idea for me to pull more than one mob at a time is usually not uh, something I entertain. But I just took out two literally with no damage taken again. So I'm pretty sure I can take more than one, but uh, don't need to now. We just need two more and we'll get them on our way out here. to experiment a little bit more with um, taking on uh, several at a time just out of my wheelhouse a little bit so we're gonna have to run back here turn all these in end up running down into the mine again coming back out doing a few things running back into the mine But, I'm not sure I will level or not here. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Boots or sword? Well, which, which, this is worth more. Although we're only talking silver at the moment. Zoram Strand. Okay, that's all the way across the uh, territory. Alright, so this one will give us a quest. Oh. That one will give us a quest hub starting here and off into that area north of where the demons were. This is Zoram Strand all the way over here. I probably won't make it over there. This is where you get the quests against the Naga that eventually lead you to the Black Fathom Depths. Gorgannon's flaming blade and the Seeker's fell spear. All right, well, first of all, we got to go into the mine. At some point in this quest line, we have to go all the way back and talk to Grom, uh, to Gromash Hold to be to make it aware that this guy is a traitor, and then come all the way back to kill him. I think we have to go all the way back. To, to turn the quest in. I'm not sure. But I remember that being annoying and painful. Oh, wow. 
Search the piles of fresh rubble to find ore. Alright, so... Basically, I have to run around the mine to find these piles here. Ten of them. Yeah. Not ten piles. Some of these have multiple ores per pile. Perfect. That is not how it used to be. It used to be one. That's so much easier than it used to be. I'll take it. What heroic leap. Blood and thunder. All right, so we have to go out and mark targets. Victory. Oh, that's right, he made me an imp. So I have to go out and mark targets. 30 Night Elves, 5 Ancients. Such a scary sound. I don't know why it had to be so scary. I'm just climbing the guard towers. Okay, I got it. I'm climbing them. Basically, you set yourself up here. And you use this. It gives you a targeting reticle. And you target spaces and set shit on fire. And there's what's the cooldown? 15 second cooldown on it. So, so the, what you do is you drop. It's basically dropping like a smoke beacon, and then after a minute or so, they uh, they'll they'll uh, fire uh, 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 artillery at it and set shit on fire. So like right there, it just killed. So he's considered dead. But it killed a bunch of the uh, elves as well. Now, if you want to kill a lot of elves, there's something like right there. It's kind of fun, actually. And he walked through it and ended up dead as well. get the gist. I may skip over the rest of this. Then again, if it makes it harder to edit, I may not. So that's all the ancients. Now we need uh, elves. This is such a tedious little... Alright. So now we run back to the mine, turn this in. And he says something about... Somebody says something about you smelling of, of uh, demons. And I don't remember who it was that says that.
That's what I'm talking about, how boring this is running back and forth into the mine. For, for individual quests, that's a long way to run. I do get a little 20, level 29 ring, that's not bad. Strength and stam, okay with that. Now what? Okay, so we're gonna go get the, uh, we're gonna go finish off the demon area real quickly. Splinter tree. Uh, this hopefully this is in the demon area again, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, letter of explanation to Itrig. that's about all right so we're going to the demon area to get the flaming blade and the seekers fell spear Okay, I was trying to remember where the entrance was. You do have to cross and you have to enter by this path here, I think. That's correct. Yes. Ashenvale. How many times have I done this? Too many. I should be able to outrun whatever that is. Alright, so we're going in there. Yeah, we'll have to kill a few things, I think. Oh well, let's get into it. Oh, I'm running away, eh? So this one's closer now. I have to go kill this dude. So the quests are showing me whatever's closer to work on. Too far away. Sounds like somebody on helium. So yes, over here. So like I was saying, on most of these tunes, I was very hesitant to go rushing into things because I was pretty squishy. It's nice having a uh, the feeling that you don't have to worry about getting demolished by stuff when you run in to a zone like this. He's just gonna run in and kill this guy. He's 
fucker. Fuck you, man. So, he's the kind that will let somebody else kill everything while he goes and it takes the, you know, ninja looting, basically. That's really shitty. So, he's probably after the same thing I am going to be after, and to be honest, I might just let him go and kill a few things while I sit back. And again, probably won't. So I don't want to wait on his, his ass. Oh, I'll let him pull everything. They're running away. Did he kill the, the the warlock? I hope so. I'm not vindictive or anything. I don't see him running up here. Oh, a luck box. He, do I have to go in a cave? Oh. Here comes the warlock again. You're welcome. And pulling everything again. I hope you die. Well, I need to run on down because he's going to get down here and pull this thing. Good enough. All right, so we'll just sprint on back to is that it. Yeah, we'll sprint on back to Ash and uh, to Splinter Tree and turn these in. 
Um, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to run tonight. It's getting a little bit late. Not terribly late, but... Uh, I don't want this video to become extremely long either. We'll let that warlock pull all this crap. I hope he gets dismounted. Oh. What's he riding? Armored Razorback. He's not a mole period, is he? No, he's a he's a goblin. I keep saying he, it's a she. Female goblin. Not that that means anything. You can see how slow the levelings become, though. Uh... I'm only level 23. Normally with all of the heirloom gear I had, I, I would should have been level 30 by now. Uh, but this is the changes they made a couple of patches ago to make, make it so I can stay in this zone till I clear everything and it will scale in the rewards and all that stuff. So that's, that's good. Uh, I do like to do that and, and, you know, pick a storyline that I want to work my way all the way through. So well, that's right. We have to go all the way back to, let's finish this quest line. I get another ring. Nah, it's not any good. Ring. Except unless it turns purple. Which it did. Yeah, it would took the uh <laughs> took the wrong ring. I mean it made it made sense that that was the one it was going to take, but I need the early ring to stay. Thank you. All right, what's this dude want? Sunk, sunk. Okay, so this one, part of the reason why I hung on to this one was because I knew there were some coming that were going to stack with that. Well, and that. So, as you see... This and this can actually be, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, basically, I have to either go to Orgrimmar or go up to Satranar and deal with all this stuff. So I'm not gonna do either. I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take off. Uh, I'm gonna probably put this video together to see how long it becomes, and if it's like an hour, I'll probably go ahead and post it. Uh, I will do some subsequent leveling, but uh, I, I don't know when I will be able to because I'm getting ready to move my house next month and uh, I've got a lot of things to do and I've got a lot of technical videos that go along with that I want I, I, that will be on the schedule to get done. So um, this may be the last time I actually get to play WoW for a little bit. So I will uh, post subsequent videos to this. I will reserve this character only, this warrior only for this thread, and uh, we'll come back to it uh, when, when we get the opportunity. But uh, there you go with a little gameplay with the Vulpira, the Racials, and uh, their funny little battle cries. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll check you later, and uh, thanks for stopping by.